on three. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Hi, this is Andrew from Frontline Entertainment. One of the questions we get all the time is, what is the best paintball pistol on the market? There's no real right answer to this question. It all depends on what you're looking for in a pistol. Right now, there are three main pistols. There's the Tipman TPX, the Tiberius T8.1, and the Kingman Eraser. We'll be comparing each over several categories. First thing we'll be comparing is the type of ammo each uses. All three of these pistols have a variety of ammo they can shoot depending on what you're using them for. The TPX has two options for paint. It can shoot either the 68 caliber paint balls or the rad powder balls. If you're not familiar with the rad powder balls, you can check out our review on that using the link below. The, uh, the nice thing about, uh, about this is the TPX will use the exact same paint as your primary weapon. It will have the same range of velocity as well. The T8.1 can u also use the standard paintball as, w as well as the rad powder rounds. Or you also have the Tiberius First Strike paint that you can also use. Regular paint with the Tiberius will perform the same as TPX. The only drawback is it's a little harder on paint and you uh, needs to use a much tougher ball. The biggest benefit of the T8 is the First Strike compatibility. The First Strike paint will travel twice as far and is tw uh, 25 times more accurate. If you're not familiar with First Strike Paint, you can check, uh, check out the video review in the link below. Next we have the Kingman Eraser. The Kingman Eraser shoots the smaller 43 caliber paintballs or 43 caliber powder balls. This ammo is designed for sidearms, so it does not travel as far and it's not quite as high velocity, which makes it still effective at close range, but not as effective as the other two at longer range. Our choice for accuracy is definitely the T8. The reason why is its ability to shoot first strike, meaning that it, you can actually snipe people with a handgun. Now we're going to compare CO2 design. The TPX holds a 12 gram underneath the barrel. The cap only ha needs a one quarter turn, so it makes it very easy to change out even under pressure. As well too, the CO2 does not puncture until you actually pull the trigger once, and this means that you can leave a 12 gram in there for weeks without it leaking out. The TPX also has the option for attaching a remote line onto the back for any player who wants to use it more as a primary weapon. Both are allow the design so you can remove the mag without having any CO2 leak out. Next we're going to do the T8.1. T8.1 CO2 actually goes in the mag. This means that every time you put a mag in, you have a fresh CO2 tank in, in the mag. The downside of this is it makes the uh, pistol grip incredibly wide, making it uncomfortable for some players. The mag can be ejected and relo uh, reloaded, and you only need you only lose one or two shots worth of CO2 each time. To change the CO2 tank, you pull down on the lever right here, and you unscrew it to relieve the pressure off that one, drop that one out, put another one in, and tighten it back up again. Other options for air are also as well, you can get an ASA that hooks onto the back right here, or you can get a remote line adapter kit that goes into the bottom of the mag. Next we have the eraser. The eraser has a separate place for the 12 gram inside the frame. Simply unscrew container, place an, a new tank inside there, and, screw, and tighten it down. Changing the mag does not cause you to lose any CO2 whatsoever. The winner overall for this category, we have to go with the TPX. Being able to put a 12 gram in there without consuming any CO2 for the entire day will sa uh, saves you money that way as well too because unlike the T uh, T8 which has a CO2 tank in the mag means that they can cut the price in half of the uh, the mags which means they come in a pack of two for the same price. Next we'll be comparing CO2 efficiency. With a pistol every shot counts. One or two extra shots can mean the difference between your team winning or losing. TPX usually gets 14 to 16 usable shots, so that means about two mags. You might get a few more than that, but you're not going to load up that third mag because it'll uh, stop halfway through. Let's try it out here now. So like we said, f uh, first trigger pull is to gas it up. Alright, let's count these out. So we got about 
17 shots off that one. So that means you're going to get one and a half, I mean, sorry, two and a half mags. Half mag you're not going to use, so it's only really 14 usable shots, or 16 if you're using the two eight round mags. Next we're going to do the T8. Uh, normally you'll get about 20 to 25 shots, with the, the uh, first 16 being the most usable, and then after that it's going to start to drop off of it. So we're going to try it out here now. Like we said earlier, 12 gram goes in the mag. Apparently I can't hold on to it. Sealed up. Alright, let's fire. So we got 21 shots off that one. I don't know about that last, those last two shots. Now the other thing too is you have to remember is when you eject the mag after eight shots to reload it, you're going to lose a shot or two then. Might still get 20 or 21 shots. I mean if I'm on a warmer day you might get more. So next we're going to do the eraser. The eraser can normally get 40 to 60 shots off a 12 gram, making it the most efficient of all three of them. Alright, let's fire it. So we got f about 44 shots off that one. Now this actually one is really cold, we actually just took in enough for a field. Uh, so you probably get a little bit more out of yours. Potentially up to forty, to, uh, potentially up to fifty or sixty shots. The next category is mag capacity. Another very important feature of the pistol is its mag capacity. Every shot counts. The TPX here holds the traditionally seven ball, but you can also get the eight ball uh, mags as well. The T8 uses an eight ball mag, and with the highest ammo capacity of the three, the eraser uses nine is upgradability. Paintball players are always looking to upgrade and customize their gear to make it look different than everybody else's. Pistols are no different. The TPX actually takes an A5 threaded barrel, so that means any A5 threaded barrel that is will fit through the shroud will fit onto this gun. As well too, as we mentioned earlier, you can get a remote line adapter. And the bottom rail here will take any kind of laser sight or flashlight provided it will mount to a Picatinny rail. You can also get an attachment rail that attaches to the top here, and there are a number of internal upgrades that go along with it as well. Next we have the T8.1. The T8 has its own barrel threading, which makes barrel options a little bit limited, but you can get a threaded barrel that allows you to put different muzzles onto the gun. Uh, just like the TPX, it does actually come with a bottom rail that we do not have attached here, which you can attach virtually anything to. Next we have the eraser. The eraser doesn't really have any attachments. Uh, you can modify parts to go on there, but there's nothing out of the box that you can upgrade it with. Our choice overall for upgradability is the TPX. It has both internal and external options, more so than the other two. The next category is reliability. With everything you buy, you want to make sure that it's reliable. You don't want to want to buy something that's going to break every week and you go to use it. The TPX, there's actually two versions of it. The older TPX, which is actually just TPX, was nothing but trouble. It's given it, it kind of gave it a bad reputation. And, uh, so when they came out with the newer version, they actually made it the TIPX. The I actually stands for improved, which a lot of people don't know. And doesn't actually have any major issues and only requires standard maintenance. T8 overall is a fairly reliable marker. We've got a few issues, mostly just due to cold weather. Uh, most issues are can be easily fixed, but not always. They usually require you to be in from the field in order to fix them. The erase, uh, next we have the eraser. The eraser is the most reliable of three. We've sold about 200 of them and less than 10 of them come back with any kind of issues. Anything that does go wrong is usually fixed uh, simply and it does come with its own couple of repair parts as well. An important factor when choosing a pistol. Some people don't want to spend a ton of money on something they're not going to see much use. Other people may want to use their pistol all the time and they can justify spending some more. The TPX comes in at $240 for just the gun, or 280 for the player's patch, which right now comes with three mags for a limited time, normally it just comes with two, and a holster. The mags are normally $40 for two, and the holster is normally $50 uh, it just itself. 
The T8 comes in at $250 for just the gun, or $300 for the player's pack, which comes with two mags, a holster, and a mag holder. Mag holders are $20, the holster is, once again, $50, and the mags are $50 each. Lastly, the racer comes in at the cheapest price at $139.99 for just the marker. Overall, all these markers have their place on the field. TPX is an all-around great option, probably the best for uh, most players, and is used effectively in all situations. T8 is great for somebody who plans on using just a pistol, and likes to get a lot more range sometimes out of the gun. Kimmy Racer is a great little sidearm for somebody who wants to do a lot of close quarters work and doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money on a sidearm that's only going to be used close quarters. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well as check us out on Facebook. And feel free to leave any comments you have below.